The 229 Flight Company stays very busy supporting training here at Fort Benning, and without the maintenance crews taking care of their birds, none of it happens. The Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk is the United States Army's medium-lift tactical transport aircraft system. It's a four-bladed twin-engine utility helicopter and, like all aircraft, requires a good bit of maintenance. Maintenance drives this whole train. I know that's the same for ground vehicles, but this is, this is probably, you know, ten times the maintenance load. In order to support their heavy workload, the 229's Blackhawks need to be inspected and serviced quite often to keep them safely flying. Preventative maintenance in aviation is the key to success. The more you find on the ground, the more you fix before they go, the more eyes that go over, the more hands that touch it, the more you clean it, the more you look at it, the more you're going to find, you know, the miscellaneous problems. From the engines to the tail rotors and everything in between, the Sikorsky Aerospace Maintenance Crews can fix just about anything. There's nothing Sikorsky can't do. We build the aircraft, we, we modify the aircraft. Traditionally, the, the, the toughest or the heaviest maintenance is going to be our phase maintenance that we do. It takes about a 30-day rotation. You do an inspection phase, then a fix phase, and then a reassembly phase. And then we take it out, we have maintenance pilots here that will fly it and make sure everything's right. And getting everything right is imperative because people's lives depend on the work they do and they all know it. Particularly because there's people involved. We want to make sure this thing, we get the best product available at all times. 100%, you know, no ifs, ands, or buts. These guys have your life in their hands. Anytime they're working on the airframe, you're trusting them to do what they need to do to keep you safe and to keep your crew safe so you can go home. The maintenance crews not only have to be meticulous when it comes to inspecting and fixing any issues that arise, but they also have to work around the many scheduling challenges. We have to be very critical to bring the aircraft down around their mission schedule due to their high ops tempo. We only have four aircraft here, so to take one out of service really limits uh, their ability to do their mission. With a four ship fleet running hours early in the morning, late at night, sometimes midday, that's where the challenge is to to making sure we're all aware of, hey, that one needs to come back, get pulled off, get this done, and then get back out. These helicopters not only spend a lot of time in the air, but they also get quite a workout flying some of the most challenging missions in all the military. There's a couple of missions that they do here that they don't do traditionally throughout the Army. So those are things that put a little more stress on the helicopter. These helicopters are quite old. A lot of them are older than the pilots that are flying them in, in some cases. You know what I mean? They, they, they've been around for a while, and they haven't been through a reset. In, in a while, if ever, some of them. The men and women of Sikorsky Aerospace work hard to ensure that the UH-60 Blackhawks are safe and in peak flying condition so that the 229 Flight Company can continue supporting our troops. We feel great about being able to be part of this commitment to military training. Every time one of these goes out the door, they're training soldiers. I think all of our team feels good about that because that's actually what it's all about. The job of keeping the 229 Flight Company airborne is critical to Fort Benning's mission, as they provide the air support that helps train thousands of our troops for combat each and every year.